David Chris Dero KTN News Nairobi Security matters now where a section of Tana River Muslim religious leaders have linked the ongoing Tana River clashes between two communities to lack of land ownership documents, asking the government to initiate a land survey, demarcation and issuance of title deeds to the locals. Elsewhere, a family in Isiolo County has been forced to transfer their kin who is in ICU back to the house following the health workers strike. Well, here is Marion Barasa with the story. A section of Muslim leaders in Tana River County are attributing the ongoing deadly intercommunity clashes in Bangale Sub County, which have claimed 19 lives, to the lack of title deeds among the majority of community members, despite having lived together peacefully for many years. <laughs> Elsewhere, the Nairobi County government has clarified that Uhuru Park remains open to all, disputing recent claims circulating on social media that the park was closed. <laughs> In Isiolo County, a family is struggling to ensure the safety and health of their 18-year-old daughter, who is on oxygen support, after being forced to transfer her from Isiolo Referral Hospital to their home due to the ongoing medic strike. Meanwhile, the National IDP's Network Kenya has called on the government to reconstitute the National Consultative Coordination Committee to expedite the compensation process for resettling over 200,000 internally displaced persons displaced during the 2007-2008 post-election violence. <laughs> Wadiriwa, what was seven to eight? Serekali at Fanya Nini at Shugrike, Kama Wadiriwa. Marion Barasa, KT News.